Most of the cars have a reserve fuel switch in it, so the guys know about a lap ahead of time when it's going to run out, so they'll fill oh, its oh, spunner, yeah. but oh. that up. And Sorry, he, Jane. Oh, oh Kyle Busch almost oh. saved it. He collects Logano, and he's in the wall with Keselowski. Yeah, you saw Joey Logano trying to keep Kyle Busch behind him, tried to block him, and Kyle went to the inside, and I think they made a little bit of contact and around, or which really just ultimately created this mess. And Dan, uh, basically, Joey just tries to block. He does a great job right there. And here it's just aggressive driving. Two guys going for the same spot at 190 miles per hour. And, and they just made contact. Ends up taking both of them out and Joey Logano's teammate, Brad Kislowski. Some guys did a pretty masterful job, though, making it through there, like Ryan Blaney and Jimmy Johnson. So you can see, I mean, you, the 18 of Kyle Busch, he lets off right there, did not run in the back of him, but as he goes low, then they make contact. Hard to say if Joey Logano was trying to keep his car a little bit lower there to, to even continue the block, but they definitely eventually made contact. Kyle, blocking is part of this deal, and sometimes blocks go wrong. What do you, what'd you see happen? Yep. I said it correctly. <laughs> That's right. So. I'm new at this pit reporting things, but uh, we're going to take a look at it. And it just looked like that you can throw one block, but two or three is too many. Yeah, that was one right there. And then I finally was able to get my car to turn right there and then was going to start getting back to his inside. I didn't know how much room I had. And my car loosened up his car first. And then um, it just started turning him down the hill and we all collided. But um, yeah, that's just part of it, I guess, racing for the lead. What I, what I wonder is you're, you're racing so much and then single file and then it's crazy. That's why we stay single file, is so we don't do crazy because we don't know how to do it. So, um, you know, I thought our M&M's Camry was driving really good and I felt confident in being able to make that move because I hadn't had uh, my car out of shape at all the whole race long, you know, and we were good to go on fuel. I don't know what everybody else's fuel situation was, the guy's saving, but... I don't know that they were going to make it, but we we had a head of steam coming, and when we got there, man, we just had to slow down like two seconds a lap. So it's like I know we're faster than these guys; we can drive up through here, and we made good headway through the middle there, and then um, just closed up.